Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I am finally getting around to doing a color and chat for the color by number color along for the month of September. I am co-hosting this with both Zoe Archer and with Nikki in Niagara and I will link both of their YouTube channels down in the description below. So go and check out their channels too. Okay, so I said in my intro uh, video to this color along that the first picture I was going to color was out of this cute book by Sun Life Drawing. It is the World of Mice. It is a large print color by number book and there are only 12 colors in their color palette in this book rather than their typical 22. So the picture that I picked out for us to do is this cutie pie. I thought with fall coming up this would kind of be a cute picture. Halloween is kind of coming up, sort of. It's a little ways off, but uh, it is coming up. Uh, let me grab, oh, excuse my arm. I have to get a piece of cardstock to put behind because I'm going to color this with my alcohol markers. And Sun Life Drawing, um, because of the wide variety of colors and I could match up the palette really well, I uh, use my Copics, yes, my Copics, in all of my Sun Life Drawing books. So, let's start. I think I'm going to start with the number fives because there are a lot of them. Boy, I wonder what number five is going to be. <laughs> yes, orange. So let's get out the orange. Okay, so let's zoom in just a little because these are such big areas. Don't have to zoom in too much. So how is everybody doing? I have not done a color and chat in a while. It's just, yeah, it's still kind of hectic around here. There were a few additional things that we have to do with the house. So when we had the open house on this past Saturday, we had three people, three couples, I'm not even sure because, you know, we're not here, um, that came through. And while they had some good comments, quite a few good comments about the house, there were some things that they pointed out too. So, Bob and I are doing some things in the basement yet, and also up here so we're working on those so yeah it's like just when you think you're done doing things something else comes up isn't that the way it usually goes otherwise I'm doing well a little bit busier now that as of yesterday I have my grandkids back <laughs> to babysit including little six week old Levi if you are new to my channel my daughter Heather had a baby um, yeah about six weeks ago um, so it was the end of August and she is taking half days yet now for the next couple weeks so just to kind of get Levi used to me and me used to Levi 
so yeah so I still have them to like 230 and uh, yeah it's uh, he's an adorable little guy but you know a six week old it's you do definitely have to get used to what you know each cry means whether grandma I'm tired grandma I'm hungry grandma there's nothing wrong I just want to cry <laughs> uh, kind of hard to put him down yet because he kind of fusses really doesn't want to sit on his own much but again I at this age I guess it's to kind of be expected. Anything exciting going on in your neck of the woods? I cannot believe we're almost to the middle of September. Didn't September just start? My gosh. It just, oh, this whole year just flew. You know, they always say the older you get, the faster time goes. Boy, if that is not the truth. It definitely does. I say that every year, but it is so true. This paper is a very thirsty paper, so yeah, I know it's going to make my Copics run out of ink much faster. I do have quite a few of refills though, and it took me so, so long to build up this collection, and it's like, I want to use them. It's no sense, you know, having these nice markers just sit on the shelf. So I like using them for color by number because even though, you know, there's over 300 colors in the Copic set, there are still some colors that you can't match up no matter what. <laughs> your common colors of course you can but for instance I am trying to <laughs> match up colors to um, the Zendoodle color by number books that I just showed I just did flip throughs not too long ago and there are some colors in there that it's like, oh, I cannot match those up. You can tell I went kind of a little bit too fast through here, and it's kind of streaky. But that's okay. Pumpkins have streaks in them, right? And again, because this paper is so thirsty, it, uh, it's very easy to streak with markers. Now this is the same kind of paper as Jade Summers books and you can have the same problem with larger areas in their books too. So you may think you know this is so much easier to color but when you do have these large areas and you're working with alcohol markers it's kind of hard to make it not streaky and number two not get lines <laughs> you have to you know keep the end where you leave off with the ink you, you have to keep it wet and color over it before that dries 
and because this is such thirsty paper it dries pretty fast but I guess if we get lines we get lines right So yes, little Miss Madison has been an awesome big sister. She is no longer kind of jealous of Levi. When Levi first came home, of course, she had a little bit of problem. You know, she was acting out for attention. But because mom was, you know, so busy with Levi... Daddy kind of did some special things with her. So that helped. So she's much better now. I think I'm going to leave number five sit for a little bit so that my Copic can get some more ink down in that tip. It's getting a little bit dried. And that happens when you use your Copic a lot. And if you just put it aside, let it sit for a little bit, um, it will kind of regenerate itself. So let's go on to number one, which is black. Okay, let's start up on top. Look for our ones. And it looks just like this one is black. And Maddie is completely potty trained now. Yay! And you know, just like I was telling Heather, it's like, don't rush it. I know what the doctor told you, but you know, kids, when uh, they're ready to be potty trained, they're ready. And you can't rush that or they're going to rebel. So. So, yeah, she wears big girl underpants now, and when she has to go potty, she just, you know, she'll tell you, and then she'll go down in the bathroom by herself. And, and yep. Goes all by herself. And she just started, um, even doing number two. <laughs> um... On the toilet so yeah she is doing awesome she has not had an accident at all in like a couple weeks now so I think we got it licked so she gets I mean probably not the best bribe in the world but she gets a little piece of candy, two, two little Skittles, and two little M&Ms <laughs> every time she goes. And she looks forward to that. She opens her little plastic containers, and she'll take out the two Skittles, and then she'll take out the two M&Ms, and she'll snap the covers back on. <laughs> it's cute. All right, let's go to number two, which is gray. So, of course, oh, I missed a one up there. Let's do that quick. Not real sure which book I am going to do my next color in chat out of. I'm thinking it's going to be one of my mystery mosaic books because quite a while ago I had a request to do another one out of there. So it's like this is a perfect opportunity to do that. So I'm going to look through and uh, see which book I want to color out of and yeah so I think it's going to be 
one of those and because all of the colors are the same throughout all of the books and uh, so I uh, figured out what colors I needed and I used the Crayola super tips in those books the tips on the Crayola super tips work so good in those books so yeah so I think yeah um, I also had a request just like Zoe and uh, Nikki did to show all of their <laughs> color by number collection all of their books so I am going to be doing that um, hopefully shortly <laughs> Uh, I am yeah hopefully if I can't get it to can't get to it yet this week I don't babysit on Fridays so I am hoping to get to it on Friday because I have a number of videos to make I have had a couple of coloring supplies sitting here on my desk and I don't want to open them because I want to open them on camera with you guys and it's been killing me I want to open them <laughs> but uh, I was going to swatch them on uh, camera too so they are going to be a little bit longer video so those two for sure videos I won't be able to do until Friday or maybe even Saturday and yeah one of those two days I plan on doing the next color and chat for this color along now this marker is very juicy you can tell I do not use all of my grays too often you know there are so many grays in the Copic line like a lot of even the budget-friendly markers we have so many grays and so yeah this particular marker doesn't get used very often so yes it is very juicy and the you know juicy markers are great but you do have to remember that the juicier the marker the easier they bleed outside the lines so you have to kind of take that into consideration when you're coloring and not go straight up to the black line or it's going to bleed over for instance I had that happen up here where was it oh here I don't know if you can see that but it bled over the line around here what's number 12 pink his tummy's pink so yeah I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover that up with pink or not I was hoping it was going to be a darker color <laughs> but I guess not it's not that bad though so so yeah busy 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 okay what movie is that from <laughs> leave me a comment down below if you know what that what movie that's from I apologize for sniffling <laughs> I still have this rotten cold and it just does not want to seem to leave me I have the sniffles so bad and sinus congestion and cough and my eyes have been burning so bad lately oh makes coloring kind of hard I don't let that stop me though uh, uh, uh. <laughs> especially when I'm you know coloring in my chair at night I have rather than the overhead light when I'm coloring with my glitter gel pens I turn the the uh, the main light up above me off because it shines just right on my paper 
that it's real hard to see what I'm coloring with the glitter gel pens. So I shut that light off and I have a broad spectrum um, light that I can flip on that's kind of behind my shoulder and that works much better so but yeah my eyes have really been burning but again that does not stop me okay now we are on to the brown we have a brown stem not a green hmm that's different is our pumpkin going bad <laughs> I had to double check just to make sure I'm, I have the right number. And I do. They must really want to use the fall colors in this. How many people have this book? It is just so adorable. And then if you watched my flip through, um, you will see that they have both this version the color by number version and also the same pictures but without the numbers so then you know you figure out your own colors I thought it would be a really neat idea because these are such simplistic kind of pictures um, if you took one of the books either the color by number or the non color by number and you gave the other one to one of your kids you picked out a picture together and you each colored that picture like I said either you take the color by number version and your kid or should I say child <laughs> I just call them kids um, takes the other one or maybe the kid <laughs> wants the color by number one and uh, you take um, the regular one forgot some grays let's go back and do that before I forget now this two you can't even hardly see but I know it's a two because the other heads are colored gray Yeah, I really should have blew my nose before I started this. If it gets too bad, I'm going to pause the video. I don't want to be sniffling in your ear. It's kind of rude and so. Yeah, I meant to do that before I turned the camera on and then totally forgot. all right let's do this one and after this one i am gonna pause i feel bad sniffling in your ear how many of you have color by number books and how many are of you are participating in the color along i heard so many positive comments from you guys that are like oh love color by number i'm gonna have to participate in this one and it's like oh awesome the more the merrier okay i am gonna pause i will be right back you won't even miss me but i won't be sniffling in your ear anymore <laughs> i'll be right back all right Mucho better. Ah, I can breathe again. Okay, we have some threes over here for the little squiggles. <laughs> squiggles. So, how's the weather been by you guys? It has just been crazy around here for the past at least month if not longer we have been so cold so way below normal i mean we've only been in the 60s and sometimes barely in the 60s and now today mother nature decided to give us summer again 
we hit almost 80 and extremely muggy <laughs> so yeah but then tomorrow back in the 60s it's like ah uh, that's that's mother nature around here in wisconsin they have the saying around here if you don't like the weather wait an hour <laughs> it'll be totally different <laughs> But then by the end of the week, and this weekend, we are supposed to be near 80 again. Yay! Woohoo! It's making my lawn grow, so I get to mow lawn again. For you new subscribers. <laughs> yes, Lisa loves to mow lawn. And not with a rider either. I love mowing lawn by hand. Number one, it is such great exercise. Number two, it looks so nice when it's hand mowed. And number three, it just smells so good. There's nothing like fresh cut lawn. Oh, I just love that smell. We have a great big open, I don't know if you call it a field, but right across the street from me. And it's uh, part of the Catholic school uh, area. And uh, the, I don't know what you'd call them, caretaker. <laughs> the individual who mows lawn all summer and then wintertime he blows snow. For the school in the church and uh, every time he mows lawn across the street I can smell it and it's like oh it smells so good <laughs> it's like summer the smells of summer enjoy them now while we have them yet because it's not going to last much longer. Our growing season is almost to an end. Pretty soon the lawns will quit growing. And I won't be able to mow lawn anymore. And I cannot shovel snow. Oh my gosh. It kills my back. I have lower back problems anyhow and then I have bursitis in my left hip so between those two things yeah that's kind of Bob's job <laughs> Bob's job all right those all of the threes I invariably miss numbers never fails even on something this big <laughs> I still miss them. Uh, uh, you should see me when I diamond paint. Oh my heavens. <laughs> but I do do larger sections at a time rather than some people do real small sections. But I don't like to do that because then you're getting the same color out so often. So yeah, I do much bigger areas at once. But yeah, I miss a lot of symbols. So, then you got to go back and fill them in. Okay, we are to number four, which is red. So, this is going to be a fall leaf. Must be a maple leaf. We do get the gorgeous colored leaves up here. Which, I know you guys in the south... I don't believe you guys get the changing of the leaves at all, right? I mean, yeah, that it is very, very pretty up here in fall. It's just, like I've said in the past, I really have a hard time enjoying it. Because <laughs> I know what's coming next. Oh. And you got to start wearing coats outside already. And shoes I am one that just loves to go barefoot if I take Bella for a walk I go barefoot <laughs> I 
I just love going barefoot. It's like it's summer out. I don't have to wear shoes. Even if you step on a stone once in a while and it's like, ouch. <laughs> Still worth it. Keep warning Bella. It's going to be time to freeze her little pawpaws again pretty soon. <laughs> she hates going to the bathroom out in the snow. Going for walks. Especially once we get below zero. Then, yeah, then she doesn't really get <laughs> much walks if it's below zero and the wind is howling and no you just take her outside to go pee or poop quickly and <laughs> get back in the house okay any more fours i don't see any i think that's the only red okay let's go on to our number five and let's see if my orange <laughs> Came back to life. Let me see if the tip is kind of like. Oh. It came back to life. Sorta. And I know it should not be out of ink yet. Because I haven't used this color a whole lot. But you never know. I do use it for orange in my color by number books a lot, so it could be. I think I have a refill YR04. I think I did get a refill for this. Maddie is talking so much more now just in the six weeks since I babysat her last she has just changed so much it's incredible how fast those kids can change and of course Levi's changed so much since he's been born he has really pudged out <laughs> Heather is supplementing with formula now so that I can give him formula while he's here. She does pump at work, so she does leave some breast milk here too. And then I give that to him the next day. But then we supplement with the formula. Yeah, this marker is getting kind of dry. wonder if uh, sometimes the other tip is much better. And yes, I replaced all my chisel tips with the fine tip. And yes, this is much juicier. You know, I can't figure out why they do that. This tells me that, no, it's not really out of ink. It's just that it... Uh, is being used too much on that brush end with with Copics and probably even the budget friendly markers if you use the brush tip or the chisel tip or whatever a lot the ink ten has a tendency of saying okay you use me enough <laughs> I'm going to rest a little bit so we'll just do this last little bit with the fine tip. I do really like these fine tips for doing designs. But you know, if you have to get in super tiny little spots, of course the brush tip does end up working better. The brush tips on these Copics are just second to none. They are just awesome. 
Whoa. Getting shaky. You'll notice again because of the black background how much darker the ink is before it dries. But it'll get nice and bright like the other orange. Okay, so we did get through the fives. Do we have sixes? A little bit. And six is yellow. So we do have a highlight in the pumpkins. So even though these are, you know, very simple, easy pictures, they do actually put highlights in. <laughs> This is a very juicy marker, too. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Oh, we did miss one. See, I told you. But you guys are thinking, hey, you got another one there. Let me do these sixes. There aren't that many, so... And here... So yeah, I hope some of you are able to join in the color along. Like I said, I've had many, many comments that, uh, oh yes, we love color by number. And it seems like more and more of you are getting into color by number because they are just so stress relieving and relaxing. There's no thinking about what color you need to lay down and yet I know color by number is not for everybody and that's a good thing that we all like different things right then all the artists the illustrators all get supported Okay, we're just going to go all the way up and do this this way so that we don't get lines. I don't think I'll get this video up tonight yet because it's about just about 8 o'clock at night. And as you all know, because I've mentioned this before, and common sense would tell you, <laughs> the longer the video, the longer it takes to get up on YouTube. So I will render it and get all of that done tonight. Um, but I won't have time, I'm sure, to get it uploaded yet tonight. Okay, number seven is light green. All right, so we have seven, seven, seven. Okay. I was hoping these colors would be applicable in this book, too. I just took um, my Copic colors that I picked out for all the other Sun Life Drawing Color by Number books, the 22 colors, and where it said orange, I took that Copic marker for this one, and it seemed to work. So, if you do have colors picked out for all the other Sun Life Drawing books, those colors will work in here. It's just that you have to remember like number seven in here is not number seven in the other books, but you can still kind of match them up. So if one, you know, you just look for the names and pink in that book is pink in here. It's just a different number. At least I hope so. So far I'm doing okay. <laughs> Knock on wood, right? Let's see, what else was I going to mention? 
just kind of, you know, been hectic around here. We are going to look at a house Thursday afternoon. It's the first time our realtor is available. She's been at some uh, realtor conference for the week or part of the week. So, but there really haven't been many new houses coming up on the market that are in our price range anyhow. You have some of these four, five, six hundred thousand dollar houses. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, number eight is green. So yeah, we have to wait and look for houses that are in our price range some of them don't look too bad and then others it's like you want how much for that wow you know because some of them obviously need new laminate or new carpeting or you know they just have really outdated kitchens or whatever and for some reason and I think it's because I grew up with them I do not like white cabinets in the kitchen they just get dirty so easy because you know when you're cooking there's grease and and I grew up with white cabinets and I hated them I hated trying to keep them clean and maybe the paint on white cabinets is much better now but I love the look of like the newer wood cabinets the oak cabinets I've always liked that So as soon as I see the white cabinets, I'm like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and I try not to be too picky because, you know, a house is a house. But I do plan on living in that one for the rest of my life. However long that will be. <laughs> because we just don't know, right? And number nine is, let's see, is a blue. And then 10 is light blue. So, as long as we're over here, we will start here. So, yeah, still still looking I'm still so upset we missed that one it was just gorgeous everything was redone inside this house living room was a little small and the bedrooms were not the biggest but it would have been big enough to fit the, our living room furniture in and our bedroom furniture so but yeah all brand new kitchen cabinets I mean you could smell the newness when you walked in the house you know <laughs> and all brand new carpeting throughout the entire house brand new bathroom cabinets and kitchen cabinets beautiful stainless steel appliances I mean it was just gorgeous and they did have a lot of offers on it and we bid five thousand above asking price because we wanted it so bad and it did end up coming down to us and one other offer and it took them forever to decide and I know I probably said this already but again for any new subscribers 
And yeah, they ended up taking the other offer because we have the contingency on our buyer's agreement that, you know, we can't move in and complete the transaction until we sell this house. Whenever that may be. I'm getting a little disheartened. If that's the word for it, bummed out. Haven't had as much interest in the house as I thought we would. I mean, I know it's only been on the market for a week and a half, so. And because we are in Marathon, which is a small town, we're not in Wassa, where the demand is much higher. That. I'm just afraid we're we're going to have a hard time selling it. You know, and it's not just a cheaper house. You know, the, the cheaper houses sell much faster. Those are the ones that stay on the market for a day. It's like, oh. <laughs> it definitely is a seller's market right now, but Got to have the right house at the right price. So I don't know if I'm eventually going to lower my asking price. This is the asking price that the realtor kind of set. So I didn't really set it. It was kind of based on the valuation of the house. So... And of course you ask a little bit more than what the the evaluation, you know, what your taxes are based on. So I know. Patience, patience, Lisa. Patience. And like I said before, mm, patience is not one thing Lisa has. <laughs> I am so impatient. I want things and I want them now. <laughs> Not good. I had a comment from one of you subscribers that but, you know, she said, I know what you're going through. And she said something about she moved like, gosh, I can't remember. Four times in, I forgot what period of time. But it's like, oh, my heavens. I could not imagine packing up and moving that many times within a short period of time. And like I said, I can't remember the number of years, but, you know, it would be like moving every few years. I was like, uh-uh. I've moved a number of times myself now. And it's just such a headache. It's nice when it's done. No doubt about it, but it's just... Yeah, getting to that point. So glad I have all the work done in this house. Well, we thought we had all the work done in this house. We're replacing the laminate flooring that's over by the washer and dryer. I have washer and dryer upstairs here. And it was that way when I moved in, where the laminate flooring is all buckled and coming up. So I can only assume that maybe their washer and dryer overflowed or something or sprung a leak or something and got under the laminate flooring and made it, you know, kind of buckle because that is one thing you don't want on laminate flooring, and that's water. 
Water is its worst enemy. So, yeah, Bob and I are clueless about laminate flooring. Heather's boyfriend has put in laminate flooring already, but he wouldn't be able to help us for like two weeks. I don't know if, you know, we should wait that long, although we may not have a choice. Because like I said, we, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of like YouTube videos out there to watch that shows exactly how to do it. But, you know, there's, there is really a lot to it. I didn't think there was that many steps to doing it. And we have to first tear out this old stuff. And I think it's the type of the laminate that has, and I didn't even know this, there was such a thing. I thought you just had to lay an underlayment, you know, padding, just like carpeting. You had to lay that down underneath the laminate flooring. Well, here, like carpeting, there are some kinds of carpet that has the padding attached. There is laminate flooring that has the underlayment attached. And I think that that's what's in there. So, in a way, that's good. It'll be one less step to do. <laughs> but I think tearing up the old stuff is going to be more of a pain to them. Bob tried to get up one of the loose pieces and it's like, mm, no, it wanted nothing to do with that. And then trying to match up <laughs> some new laminate flooring with what's in here. It's not going to be fun. Okay, number 11 is purple. Okay. Oh, we're going to have a purple and red leaf. Ooh -hoo. Although we do get purples in our leaves, so. And as you can see, these pictures don't take long at all to do. So if you wanted to just quick sit down for, you know, an hour and get a picture done. These are the kinds of pictures to do. I did get Sun Life Drawings newest book in the mail yesterday so I do want to do a flip through of that and then I do have a number of new books. Go figure. To do flip throughs of too. And I'm getting some more tomorrow. Lisa's been bad lately. But I've been saving some money each month for one of the products that I'm going to be showing you hopefully shortly and doing some swatching of. So with saving up money for that. I had enough left over to get some books. So, okay, we have one color left and that is pink. So we gotta do pink ears, pink tummy on this one anyhow. <laughs> These you can't see because they're in the pumpkin can't see them and this one doesn't have a pink tummy hmm. go figure pink ears and then we're gonna be done with this cute thing and it goes so fast with alcohol markers I imagine water-based markers too but the alcohol based markers just you know, cover like a dream, so. Yeah, I hope everybody's enjoying our color along. I know my co-hosts, um, Zoe and Nikki, have put out quite
quite a number of color by number videos already. Lisa's way behind the game here. <laughs> I am hoping this weekend then, like I said, either either Friday or Saturday sometime. Depends on Friday. The weather is supposed to be really good. And so I might get down in the basement on that day. So it all depends on when we work on the other things we got to get done in the house. This one is acting like it's getting dry too. I may have to use the other tip. What is this one? RV21. Yep, I'm pretty sure I have that refill. Cute little tail. But you see how juicy the other end is. So I think I am going to actually leave these, take the covers off, because if you have the covers on, Copics, it equalizes the pressure inside the marker. So Copics are very different than your budget-friendly markers because of having the caps on so tight and having it pressurized inside that chamber. It does not matter for Copics whether they're kept vertically or whether they're kept horizontally. I do keep mine horizontally, but you can keep them vertically and it does not hurt. The ink stays distributed to both ends, which is nice. You know, you don't, because some of your stored systems, you know, it's just, it works out so much better. And also depending on your desk space, works out so much better to be able to store your markers vertically well you know with our budget friendly markers we really shouldn't be storing them vertically so i always try to store all mine horizontally the ones that aren't quite as important are those that only have one tip but those would probably be your water-based markers because I think all alcohol markers are dual-ended, right? I don't remember any of that. Oh, let me stretch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I don't remember alcohol markers that are single-ended. I know there's some, oh, well, besides your, you know, your Sharpies and Bix and those kind of markers, Amazon Basics. Um, but the the bigger sets, you know, of, you know, like Dick Blick and like the Limo Shea that I have, the Cali Arts, those type, they all have dual ends. So that is our picture. Ah, isn't that cute? I think that is just, oh, it's adorable. The pictures in here are just so adorable. If you haven't seen my flip through of this book, I do have, um, in my playlist, I do have a flip through of this. And you can see all the cute mouse pictures in here. I mean, they, uh, they did a good job with this book. So, yeah, some of them are horizontal, some are vertical. So... I thank you for tuning in and uh, watching me color this and listen to me uh, blabber on about this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> um, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.